Pepper, beware. You're, you are scared. Nailed it. Welcome to the pre-Halloween Sunday stream. I would like to uh, welcome you to the Spooper Beware stream. And uh, this is going to be an assortment of spoops. I hope you're doing well. I just got back. Well, I didn't just get back uh, from driving in the pouring rain. That was pretty scary from a convention in Atlantic City. And I'll tell you all about that eventually but we're gonna start off the stream with um how much money did you lose in atlantic city we'll start with that question and the answer is twenty dollars twenty bucks gone in a minute and a half that's when i stopped So anyway, welcome back to the stream. It's been a day. It's been a day. And uh, well, it's been a day since I streamed and it's been a day today. And I would like to begin with assorted spoops. This is going to be a collection of um, some, I guess, horror games. I think they're good. I think they're good. Uh, there's a collection, some by Elizarin, some by Poison Recluse and one other fellow who I could not find, unfortunately, but they seem pretty interesting. I have to say, I'm, I'm definitely more into this collection than some of the other stuff I've done in the past. After this, we'll do Ready Player Fuck, and then Canarium, I think is how you say that, which is a very Lovecrafty kind of thing. So let's start. Oh yeah, expect volume to be weird and loud. Expect varying quality. Um, maybe even some technical problems, and there's a chance I won't be finishing all of these. We're just going to check them out and see where they place on my list of worst horror games. Number 10! Okay, let me know how the volume is. So this is Choke. No turning back now. Not yet. Follow your inner vine. The exit. So close. Thanks. Here it comes. No, I'm so somewhat startled, somewhat. What, what even happened? I had to turn the volume up and then I come back to a scream. Oh, all right, well, well, we'll check out the spooky room first because we've got spooky red rooms. You scared yet? Welcome to Spooptober, everybody. Ooh. No, it's it's good. It looks nice, at least, and it's it's red, and I like the color red. Um, and the mouse locks in the window. Surrender yourself. Okay. Um, you can't escape love, or you can't escape love. Do you know what I mean? So, what now? Hey, pathetic. Me. Yeah, you can't escape, love. Yeah, I know. Confidence is the eternal voyeur of what is known as... Park Life! That's this game. Look deep into the eyes of death. Alright, first let me look at this wallpaper because someone needs to renovate. Um, I was under the impression that this was a hotel. And speaking of hotel, I'll tell you a little bit about my experience in Atlantic City. For the convention I just got back from. And boy, was it something. Boy, do I have some stories. Okay, so this is like PT. Yes, here. Now. The game agrees. 
I agree. It is too bad that um, Albino Lullaby is not ready, like Chapter 2. I wanted to stream that for a while, but it's still not done. So next year. Once more with feeling. Maybe you like it? You like? I, yeah, I like it maybe later. Yes. <laughs> what is this? It's just making me laugh now. That's nice. <laughs> That's cool. He saw nothing but corpses in his wake. And the king turned to his people, for great darkness had risen. Who are you? Batman. And only death was here to meet him. Yes again! Horl. The pounding never stops. Maybe a little longer. Oh. No. No. I guess that's a good start to a Sunday stream. YouTube is still down. There is no YouTube. That's the truly scary thing. Anyway, it's just a, sh a couple of short games. Assorted Spoops is a collection of, of short little horror games. Um, including a, a collection called Japanese Horror Games, which I'm actually afraid to go into that folder. We're going to, but I'm I'm afraid of it because I don't know anything about it. Someone in chat just said, Vinny, YouTube stream is down. The horrifying thing is that I'm actually not allowed to stream on YouTube the same time I stream on Twitch. So I was doing that for a while, and I can't. So if anyone was wondering where the, that has gone, it's uh, Twitch policy. So, just in case you were wondering, this one's called Rip It. Rip It, Grip It, Sip It. I don't think I like the implication. Lowering volume. Changing 500! Rip It, Grip It, Sip It. Huh. Make a vid on your channel to let people know about the YouTube thing. There's one on the Full Sauce channel. And there's a thing in chat that'll tell you what's going on too. This has been, like, for three months now. Is this Redvox? Exorcisms, cheap. Um, okay. <laughs> nice tambourine. What the fuck? I don't understand. Oh, I have to grab the demon. What do I do with it? It's gonna take you back to the past. That's what I hear when I hear this music. What the fuck? I feel like Nathan for you would have something to say about this. He knows a couple of exorcists, right? Wait, so once you t pull out the demon... Then what? I guess you just hold it? Yeah, you gotta, you gotta hold it. So you pull the demon out, and then you, like, put it near your crotch. And the bad smell crotch destroys the demon. Oh. Wow, that is some... That's some quality music. I need some of it. On my spoopter. I've only got three commandments. 
rip it, grip it, and <gasps> sip it. One, two, three, four. This is why game jams are the best thing to happen to video games. Because you, you get you get shit like this. So let me pull the two the devil out of two D from gorillas. Hello, hello. I'm not possessed. I'm just a little possessed, actually. But Russell's the one who's possessed fully. Gonna put you in the dirt. Yeah, he's possessed. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not really. I'm okay. I just. I just. I can't. I can't look. Things very well. <laughs> back off, devil. Oh, I thought he was gonna say back off, dickwad. Oh, oh, things got real weird. What are these? Eat it. Devil is a dickweed. Wait, I have to- oh, okay, so uh, the, the rain potatoes are, um... The rain potatoes are causing damage. So now I'm taking my demons that I- I pulled out of others, and I'm- I'm in f This is not a good exorcist. You're not supposed to put the demons in someone if you're an exorcist. I mean, that's just an assumption. I've not studied at exorcist school. Okay. Well, you're dead now. I think you're supposed to pull the devil out of the the girl. And, and huh? Wait, no, you're back. I think I won. I think that's the end of the game. I think there's this is just extra gameplay. Succumbed to Satan, haven't we all? Perfect time to end the, uh, to end the game. Great, that was rip it, grip it, sip it, <laughs> slip it, in. This is seed 1.2. So far, this is a little bit more quality than some of my previous assorted spoops. Okay, what's seed? Murder suspect Corey Wilson is on the run. His discarded car was found at the end of Old Borough Road. Whatever, man. You're tasked to comb the area to search for evidence. Um, it's a junky hotspot throughout the 90s. It's estimated 30 people inhabited the slum in the 2000s. What, do we need this back? much backstory? This soon into the game? Maybe we do. The devil is a dickweed. Oh, where have I seen this before? <laughs> oh boy, okay. Nice half-life noise. You chicken out and return to the meeting point empty-handed. You, When asked why, you can barely mutter, it didn't feel right. You get scolded by the sheriff and mocked by your colleagues. A squad of three agents is sent to explore the area in your place. You go home for the night. None of them are seen or heard from again. The game just ended. It just closed. Yeah. Okay. Yo! What the f- You want penis enlargement pills? That's how I feel about this game. It's just a little, you know, I just had to bring that back just for, for Halloween, even though it's not Halloween yet. Just a reminder. Yeah. We'll try again. We'll try again. I know, I know, I said I retired it. It was still there on my desktop. What a surprise. Uh, l listen. Some of these games are really short, some of them are a little longer. But in order to get to, like, everything, I'm probably going to... Certain games, I'm probably gonna cut a little short. That may be one of, one of these, like this one. We'll see. Then again, there's also a bunch of weird Japanese horror games that I don't understand. 
Um, Conarium is a Lovecraftian type horror game. And that's actually quite long, so that might be started tonight and finished on Halloween. Along with another Halloween spoop that I have. I actually have a couple, but we'll see how it goes. I'm trying to fit in as much Spooptober as possible because I enjoy the month. And I enjoy horror games and... People send me good suggestions. Um, so what is this one now? This one's kind of slow as fuck, but atmospheric, and it's pixely. It's like Slender Man, but he's wide. It's Wide Boy from my Tony Hawk stream last week. Kind of wish the movement speed was like slightly more. Can't pick that up. No, that's just for show. The, the fuck is that shit? Looks like a bathroom in the fucking Atlantic City casino I stayed at. There were there was just some turds floating around. I'm just saying. Because, you know, pe people drunk the whole day. He's dead, whoever he was. The smell is unbearable. Because people are getting drunk in Atlantic City. Like, you know, the hotels are like little resorts in and of themselves. So you can just get drunk in the morning and then hang out in the hotel and continue to get drunk. I've seen things that you people wouldn't believe. I've seen attack ships. So yeah, the dude didn't have a head, and I'm, I guess I'm really scared, but we'll, we'll go on for a little bit longer, and we'll see if there's anything else to see, but I'll say that the, um, I had a good time, it was a great, fun little tiny convention, and I think it was the wrong weekend for it, because it was so close to Halloween, like people would rather, would rather have been at Halloween parties, but the, um, the convention was fun. The hotel, the Tropicana, was huge. And there was a Halloween costume contest and a pumpkin one. Someone dressed like a pumpkin one. Now, we're talking like a seven and a half foot tall mechanical pumpkin with lights on it. With pumpkins all over the fucking th thing. It was, um, it was kind of amazing. But, um, there's also Mount Rushmore. There was a couple of other, like, spooky headless ones. It was pretty cool to see a bunch of drunk people in costumes. If nothing else, then to just see people act stupid. So that was fun. This game is not... nothing's really happening, huh? I'll give it three more minutes. I'll keep an eye on the time. This is a good time to tell you about my convention. The true horror that, that awaits. Um... There were a lot of... Well, there were a lot of people being carried. There was a lot of old ladies sitting at slot machines with cigarettes. It was a very smoky place. And I had trouble sleeping last night because a couple... I'm right back at the beginning. You make the sensible decision of returning immediately. Back at the meeting point, you inform the sheriff of your findings. Call the coroner for inspection of the corpse. You lead a squad to the murder scene, treading the same path. You walk twice. What? What? Okay, I'll tell you what. Even if that wasn't the end of the game... Maybe we should just move on. Apparently it's not. Apparently there's more. Whatever, I don't care. Um, The reason I couldn't sleep is because a couple doors down, there were um some dude, I guess was an Instagram, like, superstar. And he was walking with his squad through the hallway throughout the night. 
and it was just getting kind of kind of loud there's a huge party and then it turned into like semi-domestic abuse as far as i could tell and screaming and the staff coming to the room saying sir we're receiving complaints open up the door you need to open the door open the door all the way into three in the morning just screaming atlantic city there was good things that happened in atlantic city though and I'll tell you about them eventually. I don't know when. Let's try to get into a horror game. This one's called The Juice of God's Future. What is this? <laughs> the Juice of God's Future. Is what we call it. The more the merrier doesn't apply when there is this many people. The factory is taking a weight off the planet's shoulders. We juice people who don't contribute to society, to put it simply. Or rather, you do. Drink up. I have a good job and I'm happy. So what, I get to turn people into juice I am not malnourished you can be juice we need we need people who are nice and thick I'm working at getting money all right go for it I have a job and I'm malnourished population report one of three creativity average intelligence very low happiness very high I am not well educated. I think, we, yeah, we just need the best, like, we need to have good juice. I'm not really sure this would be considered a horror game. I, I really don't understand what this game is. I have a wife and I'm emotionally detached. That's good juice. Two of three, creativity very high, intelligence very low, happiness is high. Averages of everyone in the world are privacy every good person. The stats are affected negatively, and vice versa. Okay. Well, I guess the good news is we can, uh, we can keep going. I have so many games. There's a good amount of variety tonight. Um... Hang on a minute. Uh, as you're right, you sent me a game. I don't know if I'm going to go through it right now. Let me take a look at this. Cozy. Okay, yeah, now this one looks pretty good. It's like a point and click. How, how long is this, though? Does the game you sent me, how, you know how long that is? Like, in terms of, um... You know, am I going to be able to get through it in, like, a couple minutes, or are we talking, like, a full stream? Give me a sec, guys. Let me find out. Because I do have another thing. Okay, I have the, the game that Azurite recommended. And I'll wait to see if I hear back. But until then, I actually have something fairly quality. Uh, this is no, this is not. Oh, great! Can I window this? Just, just fuck up all the icons on my desktop. Good job. Unbelievable. Because it, it, it's trying to find VR, and there is no VR, so... Anyway, it's called Unforgiving, a northern hymn, um, and it's actually... It looks great. The fuck is this resolution? Okay. Screen, get it out of full screen. My icons are still fucked up. Excellent. 
epic quality. All right, welcome to a Northern Hymn. We're going to be taking a look at some epic games with epic game quality. What's that? You liked where your icons were on your desktop? Not anymore. All right, move, interact, jump, light match, toss match. So this is fairly short. From what I understand. Can't breathe. Can't see as well. Mouse not locked in. Yeah, it's a black screen for me, too. That was like a stylized beginning. Broken cell phone. Must find help. Wait, I can't you. Definitely don't want to look down again. Chat might not be able to handle it. Um... Yeah, when you get rid of the cell phone, you're saying... They can't reach for help. They can't contact... Anyone. And it's not cry of fear. Is what they're saying. Cry of fear. Okay. Alright, that was genuinely annoying. Um... Kinda can't see shit. Cry of fear, you have a cell phone that takes up as much space as a ladder. So, and you can't get rid of it. Can I just eat some mushrooms? I feel like that would be a good game mechanic one day. Just play a horror game. If you're really sick of looking at drab, dark environments, you just eat mushrooms. So there's a house here, or a bridge. Convenient. Let's see. Oh wow, that provides a lot of light. That's, that's a mental amount of light for a match. Okay, when you drop a match, it's just... ...gone. So, let's count. I don't think the space to jump means you can get across this chasm. So my question was, how many dark, spooky forest games have I played so far for Spooptober? Okay, let me lower the game volume a little bit. At least 12, maybe, maybe 17, maybe more. For anyone wondering about my Cry of Fear playthrough, a lot of people told me to stop, but I, I've gotten a, a save file that's going to make the game a lot easier for me to go through. And, uh, because I kind of softlocked myself. Listen, we'll talk about it if I sh continue streaming it. I probably will. I'm over halfway through, and I, I want to see it through. I want to finish it. But I have an ability, I now have the ability to, um, get through the game a little bit more easily. You can't cheat in Cry of Fear, because if you cheat, it spawns an enemy behind you. And you die. So the game has anti-cheat built in.
So, um, spooky forest. We're in a spooky forest. We've got matches. Uh, I can run kind of fast. Now, I know this seems like bullshit. At least that's the vibe I'm getting. But... I saw some stuff from this game that make it look very cool. Very cool. Okay... This is like my Stardew Valley farm at night. That's how much... ...care and attention I put into my farm. Spook... Spook drums. Probably a good idea to go in here with no light. I love the build-up of tension... ...for seemingly no reason. Oh, wait, 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 what is this? Oh, I thought that was a thing. No, 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 what is it? This has gotta be... This has gotta be... Something. Okay. So these are, these are the mines in Stardew. These are like runes? Someone doing like rune work? A Occult practice? <laughs> what is that? Speaking of the occult... Tom DeLong was on fucking the Joe Rogan podcast. If you remember me telling you that Joe, uh, Tom DeLong has started... ...a company to build a UFO. Sorry, an anti-gravity device. And I was thinking, like... How amazing would it be... ...if this dude were to be the ambassador of humanity? Like, what if- what if there's the- the off chance that he's right? Anyway, he talked about some stuff... ...and apparently he's associated with, like, really high-ranking... ...like, generals and people from the aerospace industry. It's so bizarre, because now I can see, like... ...you know, in a hundred years, we start, like... ...you know... Interacting with aliens. You know, and he was our ambassador. Ambassador DeLong. And like in Star Trek when they do the hand and they say live long and prosper. I can see some other weird hand gesture. Like the devil horns or something. And then the aliens say to each other to, for greetings. Say it ain't so. I will not go. Tom DeLong is in chat right now. Awesome. DeLong and Prosper. Live DeLong and Prosper, could you imagine? Our ambassador. Sunday chat experience, oh yeah. But yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's weird, and it's fascinating, and it's, um... I, I don't- I have no idea what's happening anymore in life. Where the lead singer of Blink-182 is suddenly got a startup to build an anti-gravity device.
No. That's rabies. Rabies acquired. I'm marked now. I mean, there's a level of, of quality put into, like, the animations and stuff. It's, it's definitely off-putting. There's, like, some little musical cues. This is not as bad as some of the other forest simulators I've played. And it's an alpha. It's, it's still an alpha. Hold Q to check arm. What? It's a weird function. As you're right, um, I didn't see if you were typing in chat, but do you know how long that, um, that cozy game is that you sent me? Coming a tree. Some starter. The bite mark. It's it's turning like barky. Here's what happens when you strafe too quickly. Uh about twenty to twenty five minutes long. Cool, okay, thanks. Okay, that's just silly. Bab tree. Oh fuck, it's getting worse and worse. it was the life of Babtree or myself. Highly anticipated sequel to I am a tree and you are not. Haha. <laughs> I guess so. It's not good karma to burn trees. Especially if they were once people. You, you heard that? What was that? What was that cool noise? Kind of like this. Maybe I just played too many bad Spooptober games. Is why am I running towards this thing? Where'd it go? Oh, 
saw something in the distance over there. Oh, there's there's light. I'll be okay. I think the other arm is getting a little fucky. Finally. What year is it? What year does it have on the on the bottom side? Vrunsvensen. Oh yeah, it's it's that's right. This game is based on some Swedish like mythology. If I'm not mistaken. This is so this is where Joel lives. Just outside his house, we we all know that there are giants and tree people. Just like every New Yorker knows how to make pizza. Every Italian bleeds sp uh, spaghetti sauce and pasta. Oh, they're dead now. Say it ain't so. I will not go. Turn the lights off. Carry me home. The fuck was that noise? Is that the crouch sound effect? Okay, no. It's a good boot. I kind of want that boot. No, oh, look, there's the body. That's cool. Wait. Need it? Need a hand? Anyone need a hand? Someone wrote when Weezer was good at Vine Sauce. That wasn't Weezer. You know what? Yes, it was. I know, I, listen, no one has ever in the history of streams ever looked at a severed hand and said, need a hand. This is why you come here. That quick wit of mine. Give me a second. This is an invisible wall. Okay, so never mind that. It's un unfinished. Alpha. Alpha. I guess the the tree arm growth seems to have subsided a little bit, at the very least. Okay, I'm going in the right direction because blue light. the match I was gonna say these must be some underwater like matches because there, there are matches that are viable somehow underwater I don't know what kind of wizardry that is oh hey friend Violin 
will stop any giant. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. I, I genuinely thought that this, um, was a fun little alpha. Yeah. I wish well. You know, I hope the game progresses nicely. And, uh... I hope it comes out and it's awesome. Because that definitely has some potential. That was that was definitely... Again, we're talking better than 99% of the Spooptober shit I've done this year. It, it hasn't been a good year, okay? Um, now my icons are all fucked up. So thanks again. That was my biggest problem with the game, of course. What else do we have? Before I do the cozy game... Um, I'm going to do one of these Japanese horror games. Bjorn is the of this one. And I don't understand. I just don't understand this. Like, I don't know if they're Japanese and translated poorly or not translated or if they were ported over. But we're going to find it. Oh, oh, it's Bio in. It's not Bjorn, like Finna Bjorn. This does not appear to be translated. Good noises. Ostato! Okay, well the frame rate of this game actually, actually hurts my face. So we might be going through these Japanese horror game games extremely. Qu Why would someone send this to me? <laughs> no! Oh fuck! <laughs> yep. So that there you go. That explains how the flashlight can be held and both hands can interact with the environment at the same time. And I was just about to question, why would someone send this to me? I know exactly why someone would send this to me. Also, look at this. Oh, look at that. Yeah, phase through the fucking... the stuff. Phase through. I don't know how to answer you, cat. I think it's better that I don't understand this. Oh, that's a save. The, the cat is save. Someone in chat just said, because Japan can actually into horror. Like the West cannot, he says, as a girl with a flashlight stuck between her boobulars appears on the screen. Timely chat message. is <laughs> you know if you rearrange the letters in Bjorn you almost get binyat I think we've seen enough Uh, Death Forest? Which I wonder if it has anything to do with that forest. That, that, you know, the famous one. This does not have widescreen.
more spoopy forests. The fuck are these controls? Do you guys see in this shit? I, I there's no strafe. This is not making a good argument for Japanese horror games. Okay. 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 This is my maximum movement speed. Can, just based on the sound of the footsteps, I can already see the main character looking like... like a bow-legged solid snake. Oh shit. Or a horse. Or I was a horse. Um... Goreku... Tu! Wait until you see this. Requiem for a gorilla returns. Hard gorilla. What, what button do I press? I, I guess I lost. Unfucking believable game we've got here. What button do I press? Control shift. What are we? Look at the readme. This game did not come with a readme. Oh, you mean the actual like game itself has a readme within the game? Oh, I didn't. I didn't see that. Maybe I just didn't want to see it because. I was so excited to get Hard Gorilla. Wait until you see the readme. That's the readme. <laughs> Guess I'm missing a language pack. Well, the space button, or the space button, the space bar closes the... Oh no, I'm dead now. That's, that's the end of that. You have to prevent the gorillas from getting out. <laughs> I think that's about it. You just press the button. <laughs> Is that a Rumbi? What is this thing? That's not a gorilla. That's that fucking blobfish. <laughs> Just whatever. Do your thing. 
Sweet Jesus. Oh, this is a weird night already. I could have stayed in Atlantic City. I don't know why I came home from... Oof. I was about to start a Buru art. I was like, from... That was a weird habit. It was a very, very weird thing. This one's called... Um, Any Yume? Any Yumi? It's like a very strange instinct. From Bart, eat pant. What? <laughs> what the actual fuck? Oh my god. Yeah, this this has been a fun collection. I had I had no idea these games were gonna be like this. Thank you, Poison, for this collection. It's wonderful. Mouse is not locked in the window, so if you see any weird camera movements, blame that. I like how people in chat are quoting Japan can actually into horror over and over and over again now. I mean, you know, there's a... Uh, what's the... Oh, God. You can't really judge a whole thing by the worst of its thing. So, I mean, don't, you know, don't judge all Japanese horror games based on whatever the fuck this is. What was that? What? Oh, God! Oh, God, no! Get these fucking emojis away from me, please. Music, please. I'm dying. I've, got, I've actually got tears in my eyes. I got, I got fucking tears in my eyes. <clears throat> Jesus. <laughs> two more. I got two more. <laughs> I think there's multiple emojis. There's multiple smiley faces because I think I heard an overlap. <laughs> oh no. There are multiples. That is truly horrifying. <laughs> Fuck. Everything's just a dark hallway. I don't know where to go. Why are they chasing me? What's the lore? Okay, I just need one more. Startle. <sighs> Fuck. God damn it. Oh. Oh. 
<laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, uh, live, run away. Somehow this has been the scariest game of the night. <laughs> There it is. Shit. I don't know how to get in there. Oh no. Welcome to hell. <laughs> Truly the scariest of all the games. I will never know what happens. You could. It's spelled I N N Y U M E. I N N Y U M E. Please let me know what happens. Maybe they just wanted to dance. Yeah, they just wanted to dance. I don't know why I was so afraid of them. There's a good time. There's a good time to be had. The Swedish one was called uh, Unforgiving. Unforgiving. This one's called Synesthesia. Synesthesia. Another game with a horrendously low resolution. Mouse isn't fully locked in. Dark as shit. I had to learn how to play that on guitar. One day, one day there's gonna be a concert. And in the middle of a song, I'm just going to bust that out. Lock. Lock. Such loud footsteps. Yes, of course. Of course! Synesthesia. Scoot came out for a laugh on that one too. You'll you'll notice two distinct voices. It proves that me and Scoot are not the same person. So if you go back and review that footage, <laughs> the, there's me laughing and then there's Scoot laughing. Oh man, these are great. Uh, Yakusun is next.
I needed these laughs. I really, really needed these laughs. Yakusan or Horror Village. You, the you button does something. Mission startle. This fucking wacky footsteps and, and, and movement speeds throughout the whole night. Like, look how much my head is shaking compared to how much I'm moving. What? What was it? Oh, come on. Come the fuck on! <laughs> He knows where I am. It's like one of those little white fish turned into a human. <laughs> There's one thing that he can do that I cannot do, which is he can poop his babed prible. Good quality shit. Good shit. Why does he climb the mountain? The body gets power from the rock. Can't catch me now. I think I was ever supposed to be here. The exit. Home. I will now return to my people. That was Horror Village. Final Japanese horror game, Yandrella. Oh no.
It's weird RPG Maker games all over again. Violent and grotesque depictions. All right, I played one of Charon Karen's games before. There's a beautiful, kind girl named Cinderella. She's more beautiful, more kind, more precious, more cheerful than anyone else. Never did any good. Well, her sisters worked her to the bone every day. She wasn't able to go to the ball to meet her prince. All she could do was clean. People are genuinely telling me to stop playing this. Yataro. I was finally able to see you. I've been waiting to see you the whole time. E he he. It's been a while, huh? Ugh. I am your bride. I am the princess fated to be your bride. It really is the most horrifying game yet. Yeah, I kind of like the shorter games. I'm not sure I'm going to be putting the amount of time into this required to see it get good. You were making a racket there. Were you having a scary dream? I'm sure you were just having some kind of dirty dream. I know you. Intruder. Wait, wait, wait. Don't tell me you forgot already. I emailed you about it the other day. <sighs> Hinata? That's how you say that? Is arriving today? We were gonna go to the station to meet her? No way, are you saying you forgot about her too? I'm shocked, you really are horrible. My brain wants to tear itself out of my skull. The three of us would play together all the time. Don't tell me you really don't remember her. Meep. Haha, <laughs> there was no way you could have forgotten. We were all so close back then. Get a grip, will you? Please no more RPG Maker games, everyone. A bunch of my favorite manga are lined up on the bookshelf. There are some dirty magazines, too. <laughs> Inside the drawer are a bunch of games in a messy heap. I can't decide whether I want to sell or keep them. This is where I find my internet porn. Playing games on a computer is more fun than playing them on a TV. I think, yeah, there's- the, I don't need to go into a hotel. I think there's gonna be some, um, some bailing real soon. Jesus. I 
Like, I kind of want to know how this turns into a gore... ...horror fest. I apologize to anyone that really wants to see me put effort into this, but I, I just... Listen, man, sometimes I just don't gel with a game. And, uh, if it's gonna be long, that takes time away from the other good stuff that I've got tonight. It's like, I specifically didn't play Doki Doki Literature Club for this exact reason. too close. <laughs> this, this, this dialogue, please. I hope you cast a spell on me. Cast. P please, no. Do you want to know why I came back here? I'll tell you just this once. Keep it a secret, okay? I came here to meet my prince. <laughs> oh. Just what do you think you're doing, jerk? Get away from Hinata, you perv. Violence is a no-no. Yotaro, you dumbass, don't cock- don't get cocky just because you haven't seen Hinata in a while. It's, no, wait, it's not my- are you gonna blame it on Hinata now? You're terrible. <sighs> Wanted to see you too. No shit! Anime girls kissing! What?! There are a number of folks in chat telling me that I'm mispronouncing Hinata. <laughs> really? Are you gonna try to correct me on... <laughs> really? Of course I'm not pronouncing it correctly, that's the point! Wow, and you can't even make the dialogue go faster. We we're gonna go into a secret base and there's gonna be murder. I can't- I can't do this anymore, I'm sorry. I was w waiting for something to happen, like next scene change, maybe something would happen. I just don't think it's gonna happen for a little while. Nope, not even control works. Someone in chat said, how do you have an English degree and not even pronounce Japanese names correctly? Well played, well played. there's a secret military base that we have to go to. Oh my god. I thought it was a secret military base, it's just a tree. Oh, it's demolished, okay. It takes an hour to get to the good part, stop now. An hour to get to the good part. Stop now. 
Gladly. Gladly. I'm sorry. I cannot play that any far any further. I cannot do it. Listen, uh, there's another game called Cozy that um, Azurite sent me, but I'm going to save that because we have um, we have other stuff to get to. Maybe you'll see it on Halloween Day. Maybe. So, yeah. Um, it says here the spoopy and gory part of Yandarella is that both girls are ill in love sickness, meaning that they kill the girl you choose. Okay. All right. So we're gonna do something. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna take a break just yet. Because I have something that's unrelated to Spooptober that I wanted to show you for a little while now. And this is a very, very important game. <laughs> 